Today we are in Mesa Verde National Park. This place is huge with lots of windy roads through the mountains. Mesa Verde is the only national park in the United States created to protect cultural and historical sites rather than natural features. There are more than 4,000 archaeological sites and 600 cliff dwellings. Mesa Verde is also an international dark sky park. It has one of the darkest skies in the U.S., which makes it perfect for stargazing. We're at Mesa Verde National Park, and we're getting ready to hit the highest spot in the park at about, oh man, 8,500, 8,500 feet. Feels like it too. In the early 13th century, the ancient Pueblo people began building dwellings into the cliffs that offered protection from the elements and intruders. We're doing the Step House Trail, going to the first cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde. What was I called the longhouse loop? So if you guys make it up here with bikes, make sure to do the, the longhouse loop. That was a pretty cool, easy five mile loop and you get to see three or four cliff dwellings. It's a good way to see a lot of stuff fast. So there's a bunch of cliff dwellings out here and you can 
do guided tours and those look pretty cool we didn't do any of the guided tours because we weren't sure when we were going to be here and if you are plan on doing them make sure to book in advance didn't look like they had another ticket available for seven days <sighs> but we're kind of still get to see all the cliff dwellings either some you can go through and some you can just kind of see from the other side Where is it? Oh. I bet they don't do tours to that one. I don't see any way to get there. So we're out away from all the people now and uh, we just ran into a pack of wild horses. I was wondering why there was so much horse dung on the street because I hadn't seen anybody riding a horse. Never seen wild horses before. Mesa Verde was definitely worth the stop. I think half a day or one day is enough, but I'd allow two days to hike and see the whole park. We didn't make it to the Cliff Palace area, mainly since we didn't have tickets, but if you are able to snag tickets ahead of time, either a tour of Cliff Palace or Longhouse would be good. Those hikes are led by a park ranger. However, if you're not able to buy a ticket, you may want to do the Longhouse area instead. It has the step house, and that is the only cliff dwelling you can do without a tour. And if you're planning on biking, the only place in the park where you can bike is the Longhouse Loop. Don't even think about biking on the main roads. If you plan on visiting several national parks, you can buy a national park pass at the entrance and save money. It is good for one year. If I ever go back, I want to make sure I'm there at nighttime so I can see all the stars. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to see more of our adventures.